Good morning, guys. Oh, it's such a gray day. Gray Wednesday. I'm wearing gray myself. There we are. Hey, guys. So, I am working on receipts. I collect all my receipts and put them in every week into an Excel spreadsheet. I love Excel spreadsheets. I use it for everything. I use it for vacation, budgeting, packing lists, everything. I've just gone through that the last two months uh, receipts. Um, grocery ones I don't save, but anything important like big pieces of furniture, household items, and whatnot, if it's something that I know that we might need to refer to, I keep it in this little thing that I got in the dollar section of Target like, I don't know, over a decade ago. And I kind of have it by art supplies, beauty, health, books, clothing. And what else do I have it as? Uh, entertainment, food, and then the back portion is all household expenses and whatnot. Well, all of my receipts that I keep for anything that's my personal pur purchases and then for the household and whatnot. Yeah, the only ones I don't save are food because that's just something that we don't really need to save once I've put it into the spreadsheet. And... I'm trying to get back into food budgeting. This uh, the past few months with living in Kenosha, it was just difficult because we couldn't we didn't have the space for our food and there was nothing in Kenosha. So we ate out a lot because we couldn't really plan out meals, which really sucked. But now that we're in our own space again, I want to get back to dealing with cash. Each month, that's what we use for groceries, so it kind of keeps us on um, on that. So I'm giving that a clear out. It's kind of uh, a quiet morning right now, so I'm getting that done. Having my Christmas tea and my Snoopy mug, and just... The piles haven't gone away, guys. The piles have not gone away. I think we really do need like a shelf or something because the closets are full of like packing material and some boxes and totes. So we really don't have the room for everything. Ooh, I wanted to show you guys. Don't tell my brother. I got him some gum and Andy's candies. It's like a tradition in our family that we always got Andy's candies for Christmas. So I kept the tradition up when I started doing stockings for all of my family. So every year I get Andy's uh, the menthol not the menthol. Yeah, the minty uh, chocolate ones. Um, and he's going on his flight next Thursday, which is Christmas Eve. Yes. And so I thought as like a little treat, I would get him a pack of those and some gum. I thought I would give that to him as a, a little have a safe trip sort of thing. And he's doing me a huge favor. He's He's stocking me up on a lot of Asian things, so I have like a huge list. I have a journaling list, so I have him picking up um, like lots of Midori things and Sumiko Garashi things, Asian stationery, Muji stationery, whatever he can get his hands on in Hong Kong and China. I know it's there. I've been there before, so I have him pretty much bringing me like half a suitcase full of stuff. And I have him bringing me like whatever food he can sneak through customs. Don't tell <laughs> Don't tell security. I mean, no, he's not bringing in anything illegal, like fruit or anything, but, I mean, when it comes to coming through customs through China, there's a lot of restrictions. There's a lot of foods, even snack foods that are packed in uh, plastic and sealed and everything. For some reason, there's a lot of that stuff that doesn't make it through customs. So, I have him bringing me, I don't know, whatever snacks he can get his hands on, because he knows what I like. So... Uh, I'm just so bummed that I can't go with him. Uh. So I'm texting my brother right now because he and I chat throughout the day. Um, and he just sent me this photo of uh, Michonne and Rick on his desk. Um, I had gotten him two of those Walking Dead mystery packs. And he ended up getting like the coolest uh, characters ever. And I was just, I've, I've just been getting zombies. So those were the two that I got him, and I thought it was a fun thing because he now has, he's had an office job for a while now, and I thought it'd be cool to get him some desk, like, tchotchkes. He just sent me a picture of that, and I thought that was really funny, and then I just sent him this one. Of Doraemon holding a Pocky. He's on my desk right now. 
So I thought I would show you kind of like my Midori Essentials pouch, which I carry around with me with uh, my Midori all the time. So if I'm heading out the door and I know I've got you know a little bit of time and maybe I'm going to stop by a cafe or I don't know, even if I'm around the house and I just want to have my Midori with, I will usually have this pouch with me and it's usually got just what I need, my basics. Um, the only thing that's not in here is one of these glue sticks, so I'll, just, I'll usually have a glue stick with me. Right now it's just the Elmer's whatnot. I usually like the Scotch ones, but that's just what I've got right now. So I thought I'd go through the contents. I've got headphones, because sometimes I'm listening to YouTube videos. What else have I got? I kind of threw a few things in here too, so I, I've got my Bauer Bohr um, calligraphy, not calligraphy, fountain pen, which is my go-to fountain pen. I've got my Midori Traveler's Notebook uh, pencil holder, so what it is is when you pull this bullet out, it actually has the pencil attached. And so you can attach it to, and then it becomes a writing utensil. I love this thing. It's just, it's so classy looking. I love it. I've got my, oh, I don't know where I got these. Muji? Yes, uh, my Muji scissors. So they have a spring um, attached to it, so it's spring loaded. And then you can just put it into its own cover. The cover's cracked very easily, though. You can see the marks right there. They don't cut through, they're not the best scissors, but they will do well if you just have like one, if you have to cut through a sticker, if you have to cut through some paper. It doesn't cut through washi very well, but it does the job when you need a pair of scissors for on the go. I've got a Muji calligraphy pen with a nice brush uh, pen tip in black. A Muji pen, I think it's a gel in 0.5. I think that was the boldest tip I could find there. And then a spare Uniball Vision in fine tip, which actually comes off as more of a medium point. That's the pen that I use in my journal, so it's a backup. So those are all the utensils, the writing tools that I keep with me. I threw these in here, these bulldog clips, these little silver ones, oh, and a duck paper clip apparently, uh, in here because I just didn't have a place to put them. So I usually keep bulldog clips with me somewhere, somehow, because those are my preferred clips. So there's an extra one right there. There's a couple, sorry, one-handedness is hard to do in this pouch. These are, I think these are Midori brand uh, bunny paper clips. They're just, they're just too cute. So I had to have a couple of those. I usually keep a pouch with me or a little folder of just photos I need to uh, scrapbook or something. So those are just some photos I gotta work on so they just aren't you know, loose in there. I keep this in there for some reason. I just love the packaging. It just reminds me of the simplicity and classicness of the Merchant and Mills products. Um, I have the baby bow scissors somewhere else, but that's in there. It's thin enough, so it's not really adding too much weight. I usually keep some sort of flags with me, so if I have so if I have like business cards or some things that I've yet to scrap journal but I want to remember a detail or a date or if I want to bookmark something in a book, a magazine, uh, these are handy to have just for that reason. And finally, a Sumiko Garashi sticker book, which I have yet to use, I think. Because they're so darn cute and I just can't stand to use them right now. So that lives in there. And I didn't mention this, but this is a Kath Kidston pencil pouch, or just pouch that I got in London while I was there. I just thought the Scotty dogs were really cute, and I actually have a card holder that matches that was holding my Oyster card. So, I love this pouch. It's perfect. It's slim. It's that kind of um, plastic covered, you know, fabric, so you can wipe it off easily. It doesn't get dirty, and it's just very sturdy. I just love the material. 
and it works well because it keeps everything slim and I'm not overfilling it with too much junk to carry around with me. So those are pretty much my Midori essentials. So it's what I carry with me when I'm going out with my Midori. It's what I usually carry. I'll usually keep something like this of this size with me when I travel too so I'm not bringing too much with me. So I don't know. Let me guys let me know what you guys carry with you. I like to see what people carry. Some people like to carry a lot. If you carry very little, I think that's really cool too. I try to keep it as little as possible. If I know I'm going somewhere and my bag is going to be heavy, I'll kind of skim this down to the very basics and probably not carry like all this stuff and take the headphones out the case. But when I'm at home, this is what I have. Yeah, comment below. What? Let me know what you guys like to carry around with your journal because I, I love those videos.